Hey guys, this is Peter, and a couple months ago I did this shootout for you. I took the same SIM and I put it in, well, the T-Mobile solution, the T-Mobile with antennas, an outdoor unit, and then my favorite, the Elsus, which uh, was also an outdoor unit. So yeah, I compared it and the Elsus came out on top, and here's the Elsus. But uh, some people said, hey, you compared it to this one, the Ecom 610, but you didn't compare it to the Invisigig. Any reason you didn't compare it to the Invisigig? Because this was your favorite modem before. I was like, but yeah, this is, I did compare it. And the price wise, this comes out, this is $600. And when we staple on a $290 antenna, that's cables only. So that's exactly what we could do. Uh, uh, I actually had it tested inside with a 20 foot cable attached to a 10 foot cable. So uh, here's those scores. And you know what? I took it and put it on my roof. This unit is up on my roof now, attached directly to this antenna. And yeah, let's just go ahead and benchmark it. They said, that's going to be your best score ever. Well, I don't know. Let's try it. That's just crazy enough to, to work. So let's give it a shot. Here, I'm going to go ahead and look at modem info real quick. Dun, dun, this latest version of their software. So the firmware is the latest. I did go ahead and do a base a benchmark on this our baseline on it. Uh, so before I brought it outside, I both speed tested it and pulled the scores on it. You can see that I am pulling some, well, I'm reaching the internet. That's good. Let's hit enter and exit and pull my live scores. There we go. All right. So before, before I went outside, I did benchmark this and I'll give you the scores in a second, but my signal to noise, uh, or sorry, my signal power, I was getting a 79, now I'm getting a 71. That's even better. So yes, you're right. Pulling out all the cabling and put the, putting this outside is doing better. I was getting 79, 77, 84, and 83. So much more power. This is more powerful, of course. Signal quality is exactly the same. Negative 10, negative 10, negative 3, negative 3. Signal to noise ratio. I was getting a 31 before and a 32, so this is slightly better. A 33 and a 29, so those flip flop. But this is bands 41 and 25, which is exactly what I was pulling inside. So that's great. And I'm going to compare it against an Invisigig doing exactly the same thing. I got two T Mobile business cards. They came in the same envelope and they pl plugged them into these two devices. They're both booted and stable on the network. So let's go ahead and benchmark this thing and see what we get. So here it is, my previous best modem. It's an indoor modem, but it's outside, connected to my best antenna, and as near as it possibly can get. So, what do we get? Here's today's experiment. I've got an Invisigig powered on the roof. Why? So I could have the shortest cable run to the best antenna I've tested. That's the uh, waveform, 4x4 MIMO. It's got new SMA plugs on it. There we go. And I plug them directly into my Invisigig. And I've got a business sim in there. I also have a business sim in, uh, in my Amplimax. So I've got that powered. As you can hear, it has very good signal. They're pointed the same direction. So uh, I'm going to turn this just a, t a smidge. Urgh. There. Now you can't. This one has been lined up by that little beep. That one's exactly the same. My tower is about a mile and a half that way. All right, let's run downstairs and test these two out and see what we get. Inside, let me remind you, I was getting, it's time of day dependent, of course, but same bands, and I was getting 466 and 81. So we just walked past three. Again, time of day dependent. There we go. Look at that outside score. That is really, really nice. That is dramatically different. And I'm gonna say the up is doing so well because there's a lot more power. That is just phenomenal. 120, there we go. So here's the numbers to beat. 368, 121, at 40 millisecond ping. Should we test it again just for fun? That's how I have fun.
<laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it really again. I may skip all this so you don't. I'll just cut it out so you don't have to see it go. All right. So that is a much better score. 433 over 133. Okay. So 433. That's what I was getting more like before. That's why I wanted to run it again at 40 ms again. All right. Now, without even slowing or stopping the video, I'm going to unplug this, plug it into my home network that's running off the Elsa Samplemax. Here we go. Let's unplug this, plug this in. Now, this is on a network that's supporting my entire house. Everything that's in here, et cetera, et cetera. This is the Amplimax. Here, let me pull this up, refresh this page. There it is, the Amplimax getting a 99% signal, pulling bands 41 and 25. Now, I dug into this a lot because why is this modem so good? Why is this uh, this Elsys Amplimax do so well? I can't really figure it out. It's using the same N20 chip from uh, Quatel, and I put up the I went and got the functional diagrams to see if there was any difference between these. I actually had our engineering group place a call to figure out is there a, is there a difference between these two versions of the chip? One's running an M.2 version. Actually, two of them are. M.2, M.2, 520, 520, 520N, 520N. This is a 520N, but it's the LGA, it's the larger package. I wanted to see, are there any extra buffers or anything else that architecturally that allows us to go faster? Because I think we're going about to see it's going to go even faster. But here, let's go ahead and jump that because it is time of day thing. I don't want to talk too long. What do we have to beat? 433, 133 at 40 milliseconds. Now, it was funny because when I talked to all of these folks, I'd say 30 and 49, that's the same. But we have to be, four th we walked right past 433. Why is this modem so freaking fast? I have no idea. It's just freaky fast. Uh, and yeah, 650, I'll go back and switch it again. I have no idea why this is so fast. And it's also pulling about the same up. Ding. All right. We got to say that is indeed, again, the winner. Hey, I do have it on good authority. I did uh, go to Vegas and I met up with the guys from Elsys at, um, what was it called? Mobile World Congress. It's all about 5G and I got a lot of great 5G knowledge out there all about antennas and how they're so specialized now. A lot of people wanted to know, hey, I could see an antenna. How come I can't get it? Well, it's like, well, antennas now are so specialized. They're kind of like sprinkler heads. You can actually have ones that are crafted for narrow bands, one way or the other way, or both ways, but not sideways. So yeah, that's why you might be able to see an antenna. You're assuming that all antennas were like the old sprinkler types that would just shoot a circular pattern in all directions. They're not like that anymore. They're very focused and very specialized. All right, so I do have a good authority that this modem is going to get more expensive. It's going through a lot of certification testing here in the U.S. There's a thing called PTCRB, and there's actual certificates you can get with all the local carriers that you need to get into distribution, and it's going through that. It's going through that right now. And those additional costs need to be, well, passed on to somebody, so it may actually go up. Uh, well, it will go up at this point, but this is the best antenna going, period. And if you can grab it at this price, look at those reviews. Absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and uh, just for fair, for fairness, I'm going to switch back. Dun -dun -dun, here we go. You can hear my garbage truck there. <laughs> there it is. I think it's the recycling, actually. But I want to give this another shake. This is the Invisigig, which is an excellent modem. It's using the exact same chip. Now, in all fairness, the, uh, what was it? The Yecom 610 uh, NR also had a very good score. Th 30, that's a nice ping. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wait, something just happened to the network because now you're getting a lesser score. And I'll flip back and do it again if I need to. And you're like, you didn't allow it to stabilize. It's fully, whoa, fully stabilized. I haven't had to reboot anything. Both of these networks are up. 
and connected to uh, access points, excellent access points. This one's actually connected to my favorite one. All right, let's remember that. All right. All right, back in my chair, here we go. This is again the Elsus Amplimax running my entire house connected to my um, my Orbi by Netgear. And it does a beautiful, beautiful job. Hitting the button. Been pretty consistent. Let's go. 36. Come on. Walk past the 233. Walk past the 433. 600. Holy smokes, dude. This is already past FCC, by the way. A lot of people go, you're over amplifying. I know it. <laughs> go ahead and get it tested. It'll never pass FCC. It already passed FCC. This thing is just freaky good, and I can't figure out why. Um, it's just excellent engineering. Now, the best would be is if you took the guts of an Elsus and maybe strapped that to a superior antenna like you have on the waveform. That would probably be your best solution. But for right now, there's the, the least expensive way that I know to get this. It's $6.99 and it's with the Elsus. And I went over to the T-Mobile booth and I was chatting with those guys. You know, they're doing so much now with private networks. Up is the new down. Everyone wants to get more up frequency. They're creating private networks so they can get more up. And they actually have uh, some... Well, studio cameras from Sony that they're able to broadcast over 5G and capture all of that stuff. Hey, if you're going to watch the Formula One race, T-Mobile's going to cover that, and it's all with wireless 5G connected cameras. They've already done it using N77 in the San Francisco Bay earlier this summer to get a, uh, well, those catamaran races and stuff. I think Spain won that, but uh, it wasn't T-Mobile's fault. <laughs> it was just the fastest boat, and they've got the fastest network. They invited me up there to go and shoot some video in their special lab. So I'm going to definitely take this product up there and go and see how fast it'll go on a wide open N77. So yeah, this chip, I know people are thinking, I'm going to wait for the next chipset. Well, this chipset is still has plenty of legs. N77 hasn't been used yet. Why? Because Apple and Samsung and Google haven't used it yet. These are phone networks. We need the phones to come and use this stuff. 5G SA, they're ready. They say, hey, nobody's using it. So uh, this is going to be an excellent modem for some time. And this could be your last chance to get it at this price. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Um, i just been thrilled with this. What an amazing modem this is. Wow, 627 is going to be tough to beat. But it took the Invisigig, which is an excellent modem, by the way. If you bought one of those, it's not a bad thing at all. It's a wonderful, wonderful modem. Uh, it just happens to be that there is something a little more directional and a little bit faster. I've got my 600s again. That is phenomenal. 650? Oh, my God, 650. Wow. 663. I like my 160 up. That's what I like this thing for. I usually will get my 160 up, but now that I'm on video, it's more like a 120. But hey, that's phenomenal. All right, I'm gonna, just for fun, just cause you guys are here and I'm doing it so quickly, let me just plug this back in. The network's already up, the modem's alive, all of that stuff, it's already connected. I'm just gonna hit the button. This again is Invisigig. This is my Invisigig. And it should get a good score too. It's a very good modem. It's exactly the same chipset, but there's nothing architecturally different that I can find between these. The only thing I can think of is the bus, perhaps. But I've seen this. I've seen this modem get some good scores. I'm on a different network, of course, so it's saying I can't find your stuff. Go, baby, go. 450. Look at that up. That is phenomenal. I was getting. 466 and 81 before. Look at this. It, I want to say doubled, but it's not quite doubled, but it is significantly better. 126, that is a very respectable upscore. But again, that's a, where is it? 
$600 modem attached to a $300 antenna or $890 solution compared to what you can get at $699 right now. Um, I'll put a link down to, below. In fact, I'll put a link to all of those in case you have uh, an Invisi gig already and you want to go with one of these antennas. I think it's absolutely excellent. I have a 20 foot cable. Actually, mine was a 20 foot cable attached to the 10 foot cable that came with its sister product, the uh, the mobile one. I just needed that kind of length. What's so cool about the Elsys Amplimax and for this one, for the Ecom, is that they're powered over Ethernet which means you don't have a cable run between the antenna and the modem. That's the big key. And these cables can run up to 300 feet. So I'm not worried about getting 30 feet anymore. I'm really untethered. I guess there's a slight tether at 300 feet, but I really can put this thing wherever I want it. And guess what? Uh, modem extension cable is rather expensive. You've seen that. That is That gets really expensive really quickly. Do they have the extra cables on here? Well, they do. I could look them up. As you can see, the cable is quite expensive. Uh, in fact, they're very expensive. But Ethernet cable is relatively inexpensive. I make it my own, and I run it quite some distances. There you go, guys. This is still the same. Elsys is number one. But thanks for getting me, calling me out and saying, hey, take your indoor modem and put it on your roof. Well, that was so crazy, I actually did it. <laughs> So there you go, guys. Hey, have a super weekend and uh, give this thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys, this is Peter and I'm walking around Mobile World Congress and look what I've ran into. That's right. This is the Elsys modem. And in fact, they have me quoted up here. And it is true. Even though I've walked around this whole show, uh, this is still the fastest uh, modem that I've seen to date. 740 meg megabit down, 162 up. This is just second to none. This is a highly directional antenna and it really does capture the speeds. So, hey, if you're at Mobile World Congress and you want to stop by and take a look at this, they're at booth 722. Stop on by.